morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Happy 4th of July. It's the 4th of July in the United States. Um, I kind of just forgot all about it because our normal plans are not happening because our friend that had the property where we always watched all the 4th of July fireworks over the lake has passed away last week. Um, and we're all kind of still in shock from all of that. And 4th of July is just not the same this year. But I did two pages in my journal for today. Um, and I'm going to read you the, the um, journaling. The first page was just paper that I made on Procreate. And the second page was paper that, this one was paper that I've made. Parts of paper, other papers, and parts of stuff. Just a conglomeration. And I made some stripes and then combined it. That's a house in Barcelona or somewhere at a museum. A staircase. And I, that I found on Pinterest. And I cut it, um, I took a chunk of color out of that and some chunks of color in some other places and blended some color of my own and called it a spread. So the first journaling was Iquitos. A week spent in Iquitos, this is day 203. A week spent in Iquitos finding a boat to Colombia, restocking and cleaning gear. Iquitos has colonial streets which have style and have a rundown understated elegance. All four sides are surrounded by thousands of miles of jungle. It feels open, expansive, and civilized. He was one month in Peru, but he's on his way to Colombia now. By way of the Amazon River. And this journaling page, this spread, had the journaling of day 209. A greater volume of water is discharged from the mouth of the Amazon than the combined total of the world's next eight longest rivers put together. And gets 150 inches of rain per year. That blows my mind. How much rain comes through there. But I guess that's why they call it a rainforest. So yeah, here's me adding a little bit of Stabilo Woodies, which I'm still playing with every day and loving. And adding some color to blank spots and kind of trying to blend this all in. Um, so that it didn't look like four separate pieces of paper, <laughs> sections of which I did, um, and I really kind of like how this turned out. It was a good practice for me to try to make sort of like pieces blend together, and um, I really enjoyed doing this. I'm really, I'm really, if you can't tell, bored of this project. This always happens to me at the very end. I kind of fizzle out. Um, and we only have a few more days left because um, he goes very fast through Colombia, obviously, because of the 90s was not a good time to be in Colombia. And then he goes to Mexico City, which was not a good time to be there either. And then he goes into California, which he doesn't spend a lot of time there because he has been there before. And then back up to Alaska. He was ready to get his trip over with. So we're not very far from the end here. And he's fizzling out. I'm fizzling, fizzling out, but I'm going to stick with it. Um, and complete it, but I might do two or three journal spreads a day like this at the end here to just get it done. I have thoroughly enjoyed this project, though. Um, and if you don't know, it's Michael Palin's journey of full circle in 1997 from the book that he wrote, as well as the BBC TV series he did, um, which I just love doing this kind of stuff when we're not going anywhere still. Um, and seeing what I can come up with by using other people's travel journeys. And it is fun. Very fun. So thanks for watching. Happy 4th of July if you're in America. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.